has made himself flesh and come into this world must again physically appear to his disciples. And he does. He does over the span of 40 days. He continually shows himself to the disciples. In order that man, according to his sinful weakness, would have such a witness of the reality that Jesus lives, that they would be able to obey him when he says, Go now and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And teach them to obey all whatsoever I have commanded you. Lo, I am with you always to the end of the age. These guys had to be commanded. And they only obeyed after they finally physically witnessed the resurrection. It really doesn't speak very well for the apostles and their faith, does it? No, not well at all. It shows what great sinners they were. And yet, how great is the mercy of God that he humbled himself to be shown to them so that finally they would believe <clears throat> that he lives. Now, to be in defense of that. Some might say, yeah, those guys, what's the matter with that? I mean, they saw Jesus raise Jairus' daughter from the dead, and they saw Jesus raise the widow's son from the casket that was being carried, and they saw Jesus call Lazarus out of the tomb. What's the matter with these guys? Why are they so slow to believe that now Jesus is risen from the dead? The answer is because who was doing all that rising from the dead stuff? It was Jesus. And the last time they saw him, he was dead. Now, these guys know what it means to be dead. Two weeks ago, I, I bent over and kissed the face of my mother's body in the coffin, in the casket. And that skin was no longer soft and warm. It was cold and hard. She was dead. These men knew that Jesus was just as dead. Just as dead. Now, it was Jesus who raised those three, but who's going to raise Jesus? If the disciples look around amongst themselves and say, how about you, Peter? Are you going to raise Jesus? How about you, John? Are you going to raise Jesus? Who's going to raise Jesus? He's dead. Sinful men look to the earth looking for solutions from the flesh. When we read these words from Romans, we use them in this morning's service. Romans chapter 6, verse 4. We, we were buried therefore with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. How did Jesus come alive again? He was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father. What is the glory of the Father? The glory of the Father is in His mercy to sinners. The glory of the Father is in His grace and forgiveness to those who are worthy of His wrath, anger, and death. The glory of the Father is in the gift of life to those who are spiritually dead. When Jesus hung upon the cross and breathed his last, he said, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. And he gave up the ghost and died. That was a death of Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ, true God and true man, dead, impossible for us to understand. 
dead. And yet, by the glory of the Father, who is in heaven, he is risen. And he appears. In order that that witness may come down to us this morning. That he is risen. And that we are his forgiven children too. Called no longer to look earthward. Called no longer to depend upon any human activity. Called to trust no more in any physical strength. But like our Lord Jesus Christ, given faith to pray the same. Father, into thy hands we commend this day our very lives and our souls and bodies at the time of our last breath. We also were buried with Jesus in baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, God's word, His word testifies to us. We too shall walk in newness of life. Remember. 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 It is this word that gives life. The flesh is of no avail. The word that has been spoken to us is spirit and life. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. We continue to worship our Lord with our offerings as we do.